combination. So, um, but like I said, we're in the planning stages. So if you'd like to be a part of that and help us with our planning, please let me know. One thing about family festivals is we definitely want our community in this process. So we really turn to you to help us make sure it's as authentic as possible and uh, that we're all involved and we're all learning from one another. Today has been an amazing experience and we just want to say a big, big thank you to all the volunteers and to everybody who's helped put family festivals together. I'm going to read off a few organizations real quick. Um, thank you to Aligned Energy Foundation, Sheboygan Service Foundation, Senior Captain Kim of Asiana Airlines, um, Wido Kim, the director of the Lincoln Park Music Center, National Folk Museum of Korea, and Korea Tourism Organization. Uh, we received so many goodies from everybody, so thank you to everybody. Big round of applause. Thank you. And thank you to you, our audience, for supporting family festivals, and we look forward to celebrating cultures next season. Enjoy the rest of your day, and let's give a warm Sheboygan and welcome to Garab. Okay, I need Karam members here, thank you. Hello, good afternoon. It's nice to be here. Um, this is our second performance today, so um, we're very excited again. We're from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and um, most of us are students, full-time workers, full-time moms and dads, and we're here to just um, share our love and passion for Korean drumming. Korean traditional drumming is our native um, folk art and music, and it's connected to nature and to farming. And originally, it was also called nongak, um, and um, in the village form, you call it pungmul, which means um, objects of the wind. So um, I will explain more about individual drums later, but. The first piece that we will perform for you today is called Yangnam Karak, which is from the region of Yangnam, which is the southeast part of Korea. And this rhythm originated from that region. And it's a, a little bit of a shorter piece, but we hope you enjoy it. And we'll talk more later. Thank you.
and uh, whew, I'm tired. <laughs> so, um, sorry, I think I'm like really hot because of all the spotlight, and I can't see any of you. So, <laughs> um, so I hope you enjoyed that piece. It's you know um, again a very very popular drumming piece that is very common in Korean farming villages, and nowadays in modern day Korea, we really also are seeing a lot of young children, young people um, learning Korean drumming just to sort of reclaim our traditional music. Um, there's been a lot of Western influence in Korea with Korean history, our political um, history, and I think a lot of us are now trying to, you know, look at our ancestry, our ancestors, and reclaim our music, which is really refreshing and nice to see. I love that. Um, and we're very lucky to just to be able to practice this here in the U.S. Um, and in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So if you want to join us, come on down. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to tell you a little bit about the individual instruments here. So Yunsan is sitting by the Changgu, which is the main drum that we use. Um, a lot of our a lot of us know how to play the Changgu. It's an hourglass shaped drum. And um, Yunsan, if you could lift it up a little bit, you know, it's gonna um, signify, I guess, rain. It symbolizes rain falling from the sky. And all of our drums are handmade natural wood. And the woods that we use from Korea are Palwania tree from the Palwania tree and poplar, poplar tree or poplar wood. Um, the Changgu is very unique because you have two sides to the drum. And that's why it's a little bit different from African or Latin drumming. And again, you notice our different sticks that we use when we're playing the drums. There is an uh, Indian drum that has a similar um, look and a similar structure, but it's a little smaller. But there, there is definitely some Indian and Chinese influence on the drum. And then um, Sunyan, he's sitting by the puk, and that's the puk. And you'll hear a little bit more when Sunyan and Yunsan play their piece here. The book is a round barrel drum, again, man-made natural materials, and it represents the sound of the, uh, of the earth, I guess, when you're pounding on the earth, pounding on the land, that's the sound. And the book also represents um, or symbolizes the moon. The moon is shining on our land, on the farm, and you know, when you heard us chanting earlier in our piece, we were talking about the moon shining onto us, giving us light, okay, and showing us where the land is, the fertile land. So that's the connection right there. Um, we have a gong here, a large gong. Yeah, Sunyan, can you just hit it one time for me? And yeah, a little bit louder. <laughs> okay. yeah. And the gong is called Ching in Korean, and this is really an important instrument in our drumming group and in any drumming group. It really provides the overall wraparound sound for the drum group. And the Ching um, represents the sound of the wind. And then Yunsan, if you could grab the Gengari for me. The Gengari is a small gong. Um, we also call it Se, which just means metal, literally. And it has a very sharp sound. Can you just tap on it a little bit for me? Yeah, I mean, you heard our main player. Yeah. yeah. And this is the lead instrument in the drum group. And we use um, this instrument to really be the lead and the leader of our group. So a lot of us, as you notice, we're playing the drums, but we're also watching the, the uh, small gong player because she is going to, or she or he who's playing the gong is going to give us some signals. So you notice how she was raising her hand and making some different sounds. That's how you listen for the switching of the rhythm, okay? So yeah, that's um, basically the four instruments that are used in Korean drumming. And we also call this hamul nori. Sa means four, so four, four things. So now you will get to hear a short piece from Yunsan and Sunyan, and you'll sort of see how the puk sounds and the changu sounds on their own. So I hope you enjoy this. Thank you.
called Uttari, which is, again, from a farming village and a, a, another typical farming rhythm. Um, it's a longer piece, so you'll see more variation in this piece. Um, and you'll also see the sort of the dynamic relationship between the round barrel drum and the changu, the hourglass drum. So you'll sort of see a lot of back and forth, which is really interesting and fun, I think. So I hope you enjoy it. It's one of my favorite pieces. Okay, thank you.
you again for your time and your attention. We're just so pleased to be here. We'll be here for a couple of minutes if you have any questions for us.